Hi, I'm Sarah from Sincerely Sarah D. And over the years, I have created a bunch of these tissue pumpkins. And they're fun because they're customizable to any decor. And you can keep them year after year. So you just pull them out. And uh, I have a pretty large collection now. But these are just a few that I've done. And sometimes I paint the stems. And sometimes I leave them natural. It's just totally up to you. And so what you'll need to create your own tissue pumpkins is you will need number one. Um, these are called like carvable foam pumpkins. You can find them almost anywhere, any hobby store. Target sells them, Amazon has them. So you'll need that. I went ahead and spray painted my, my top gold. You'll need some tissue paper. I found this off Amazon. I'm really excited about it. A pair of scissors, some Mod Podge, and a brush. And then I also have a paper plate just to pour the Mod Podge out. And then um, also just a note, when you store these pumpkins, I learned this the first year, if you store them like in an attic where it gets really warm, make sure that the pumpkins are not stuck next to each other because uh, you could have some tearing happen because they can actually, the Mod Podge can melt and it can tear off the tissue paper. So when you store them, I just try to not lay them next to each other up in the attic. All right, so to begin, you will need a tissue piece of tissue paper. And for this large of a pumpkin, you will need typically need two pieces. I know most tissue paper comes in a standard size. Um, if you have the smaller pumpkin, it's a whole lot easier to do. So we're going big just to, I want you to see how to do this. Because I've done videos, but they've always been like little short snippets of me and fast forward. And so I want to be slow and detailed. Because I've had several people tell me that they've had trouble smoothing out the tissue and just did not have luck. So I want to make sure that you have luck with this. And so to begin, you're going to take that first piece and you're going to Kind of place it over your pumpkin. You can see that I'm going to get almost all of it except for these sides. And so you'll want to cut out the stem. And so less is more. And so just be careful about how much you cut, otherwise, you'll have to start all over again. So I just kind of take the center. And cut just a little bit. And keep going from there. See, I have that little hole, and it needs more, so I'm just gonna cut around it. And it does not have to be perfect. All right, so that looks like that is good. Pop a little bit there. And then the other key to making the tissue paper a success, uh, pumpkin a success is you're going to have to, so when you fold it over, it's kind of like, you have to get rid of all the excess because that just makes it hard. So I cut, I sometimes cut triangles in the excess spots so that then you can just kind of easily, you can see here I cut a triangle, and then you can just fold it over. And so you kind of look at all the spots. There's another spot where the excess. Another triangle in there. And you just go around the pumpkin and kind of figure out where all the extra is going to be. And once you kind of have that figured out, <clears throat> we're going to put a layer of Mod Podge on. So I have, just to project my countertops, I have some old cardboard right here. So I'm going to pour some out. And then, just because I don't have a whole lot of Mod Podge left, the original, I had a, some of this X -tor, X -tor, X -tor, X outdoor exterior Mod Podge. And so I'm going to try that because I was curious if that would withhold the higher temperatures like in the attic. I haven't lost any pumpkins yet, but I've had a few that have had um, some damage to them. Not enough that I quit using them, but just be careful when we store them. All right, so we're going to pour that out. Boy, this is thick. Not The traditional Mod Podge is not quite that thick. All right, so I'll get the towel quick. Sorry. You're going to take your brush. You can also use a foam brush if you prefer. 
but I didn't have any, so I just pulled out a paintbrush. And you're gonna cover the whole pumpkin in Mod Podge. Okay, I'd say I have a pretty good coat on the whole pumpkin. And so I'm gonna take my piece that I cut. Place it over the stem. And Mod Podge, Mod Podge dries fairly quickly, quickly, but you still have time to work with it. So don't don't stress yourself out. Give yourself time. So I think that's what happens. People get real anxious about it drying. And so you just are going to start from the top and work your step, work your way down. And if you find like large areas of extra tissue, that's when you're going to want to cut into it and cut those triangles that I talked about. So I'm just carefully smoothing it down and it will be wrinkly and then I, I just let's just say that adds to the charm. Okay so we've got some excess right there and so I'm gonna cut that off. And again just think about a triangle. So you cut wide to narrow. And I'm just gonna keep smoothing it. that on there and then what you're going to do and this is where it gets a little bit tricky because you have to be careful about how much you move this once I layer it in Mod Podge you have to be careful about how much you stick it on the cardboard or whatever uh, surface you're using just be careful because you can actually rip off the tissue paper so just be careful and so I'm going to get some more Mod Podge out and then we're going to cover the entire pumpkin with this. And this is where it gets super messy. I might actually, I'm going to take off my ring for this as well. Now, again, I'm using the, the special exterior Mod Podge. Um, if you use the traditional Mod Podge, it will not be this thick. But I'm doing it because I had it on hand. And because I was curious if this would withhold the higher temperatures in my attic. So I'm going to take my ring off. And then... Just start covering it. So I'm gonna start from the bottom this time. And you just this my projects as glue and a sealer. I'm just gonna kind of if there's some pieces that need it underneath, go ahead and put it underneath. Get that whole bottom area first, and then we're gonna work work up on the sides. It really does just, the glue just acts to seal it and smooth it down.
then I think I have it pretty much covered. So I'm gonna put it in this bowl, let it dry, and then we will come back and take a look at it in a little while. 